and it's refreshing to meet two young men who really want to make a difference in the world. Before they headed off to college for the first time, they hosted a two-day training course on how to mitigate climate change at the Southeastern Massachusetts Pine Barrens Alliance, and we stopped in for this very interesting seminar. During his sophomore year in high school, William DeGravio attended a climate action training seminar in Chicago, hosted by former Vice President Al Gore. DeGravio later met Andrew Sandweiss at another conference, and the two have paired up to host their own climate action training seminars. The goal? To teach as many people of all ages the importance of mitigating the effects of climate change and how they can do it. These young people have taken it upon themselves to teach others about the importance of climate change awareness. They'll be hosting a two-day seminar right here at the Southeastern Mass Pine Barrens Alliance headquarters. The training is going to be divided into four parts. The first is sort of a broad look at what climate change is. The second part is looking at how scientists study climate and understand what's happening on Earth. The third part is studying a unknown uh, effect of El Nino Hidoki, and the fourth part is called advocating for climate change, sort of talking about how you can call your elected officials and take action to combat climate change. DeGravio draws parallels between climate change deniers of today and the efforts by Big Tobacco years ago to convince the public that smoking was perfectly healthy. A vast majority of scientists decades ago said that smoking was bad for you, yet the big tobacco companies put out ads and said that it was okay. But it wasn't until people started getting educated on the topic that they started coming around and quitting smoking. And we believe that we should take the same steps in combating climate crisis. And it's events like these just educating the public and getting the word out there that uh, is the essential first step. For some, changing the minds of those who pull the levers of power may seem like a David versus Goliath task, but for Andrew Sandweiss, who is now entering his freshman year at Yale, it's as simple as getting out the vote. We can vote people in. And if people learn more about, if the general American populace learns more about climate change, its real effects, and how it is indeed and not a hoax, I think then we're going to see a tide of change in the American populace in terms of their voting records and seeing, well, I'm not going to vote for this guy because he's being paid by these companies to say climate change is not real when it, I know or when I learned at the seminar that it was real. And so if we can get more and more of the American populace, starting with the youth, because the youth is going to govern America very soon, then we have a good chance of being able to fight against those politicians. If these two plan to make a lasting impact with their training seminars, there's certainly no time like the present. We're cutting it close. Uh, time is of the essence. Uh, however, if I can quote Qu Winston Churchill here, uh, Americans always do the right thing after they've exhausted all other options. So Al Gore has been at this for a while, so we're just continuing his work, and it takes a grassroots level engagement to get something done. But it is crunch time. There's no denying that. In Plymouth, I'm Brian Sullivan, PAC-TV Community News. Chicago, run by Vice President.